So let's talk about type conversion in Golang. We want to be able to convert variables from int to float and then float to int and then int to string, right? All these different type conversions, we want to be able to do that. And these are quite common uh, for all programming languages. And with Golang also, you can do them pretty easily. So uh, I'll show you using three different examples. We'll head over to our Golang playground and uh, which is basically on play.golang.org and we'll get some default code, which I'm going to remove and we'll write everything from scratch. So the first the line that you write is obviously package main and then you write import and I'm going to import the FMT package for now because I want to print out some stuff. Then I have my func main. So I suggest you always, always uh, write uh, all these programs with me from scratch because uh, you'll get into the habit of writing all these programs uh, so that when we have when we move over to more complex topics, uh, you won't have any issues. So func main and then inside that I want to define a variable called i with of, of type int and value 98. Then I'll have another uh, variable called j with float 32 type and uh, I won't have any value for this right now because what I want to do right now is I want to convert i from integer into float and then assign it to j. Right, So that's why I don't have any value for j right now because eventually it's going to become 98. So I'll show you how. I'm going to say j is equal to float 32 and then in bracket i. What basically uh, this means is that it, it's going to convert i into float 32 and assign it to j, which is already a float 32 variable. So there shouldn't be any problem. And I'm going to say print f percentage v comma percentage t i comma i. So percentage v is for uh, the value. So I want to print out the value of i. Then percentage t is for the type of i. So I want to print out what type is i because in the next line I'm going to print out the type and value of j after conversion. So we'll come to know if what we did worked or not. So we'll say j, this is j again. And a percentage t, t is capital, just uh, you know, ensuring that you've noticed that. And we're not using print ln, we're using printf because printf allows us to use percentage v and percentage t. Print ln doesn't have this functionality. Now, uh, I will run this program now, but uh, before we run this program, I want you to uh, try and understand and think of uh, what the output could be. So uh, let's let's go through this code example and see. So here, the value of i will be 98. Okay, that's pretty clear. And the type of i should be int because that's what it was in the beginning, right? And in the second line, the value of j, the, uh, the value of j will become 98 because here we are converting i from uh, you know, int into float. So the value will be 98 because uh, 98 will be assigned to j here. And the type of j will be float32 because that was uh, how we had declared the variable j, right? And we didn't change it later on. So we're expecting 98 int and 98 float. So let's see what happens. No, so it says I have to put up f here, which I forgot. So yeah, I get 98 int and 98 float 32. I'll put this in a, on a separate line so it just becomes clearer to you. Slash and slash in. Does that make sense? 98 and 98 float 32. Now, what if I want to go the other way? What if I want? Which, what if I had a uh, float 32 variable, which was i, and the value was 98.4. So, as you remember, that float is any variable that has uh, a value after the decimal point, right? And j was int. And what I was trying to do was instead convert i from float 32 into int and then assign it to j. Now what happens? Let's see. So I run this code. So what, what's happening here is that it started off as a float, which is 98.4, but later on it became 98. So uh, Golang got rid of point point 0.4 for me when I converted uh, i from float 32 into int. So always remember that that you're going to lose some information when you, um, you know, convert something from float 32 to int, especially when they have a decimal point uh, value after that. So it's going to lose some information. And uh, one important thing to note here is if I didn't write int here specifically, and I just ran this program, it's going to give me error, right? So uh, always in Golang, I'll have to mention the type here. Right, I always have to mention the type, and only then it'll work. I can't just simply assign I the value of i to j because the, those are two separate types. 
now uh, I want to show you how to work with strings now like how to convert into string and this is where a little bit of complexity comes in because it's not very straightforward as in you can't just uh, convert an into string directly so let's uh, look at an example so I have uh, I of type int and then value is 42 then I'll have J of type string and then I'll have FMT uh, sorry I'll have uh, J is equal to string and then I so I'm going to convert I into string which is 42 into string and then I'm going to send it to J right so let's see what happens so I run this and I get an error and also I get uh, the output as well at the same time I get 42 and then I get int which I expected here and then when j when i was converted into string and assigned to j so the value of j became star and then the type is string type is string which makes sense because the type was string but the value became star now that's because uh, golang can't just directly convert for into string right golang converts it into a unicode character uh, and the uh, value for for in unicode is star so it gives it the value of star but what if i wanted to convert it into a string which uh, had the value 42 so for that, I'll have to import the string conversion package. And here, I'll have to say j is equal to string convert dot itoa, which uh, you know helps me convert uh, integer to strings, and which is a function basically that helps me to convert integer to strings. And then I have the uh, output that I was expecting, which was 42 and string, right? It's not no longer star. So I so just remember that you have to import the package string conversion and string converter dot itoa and uh, in the brackets i. If you write that, then you get string. Then you can convert any int into string. So I hope uh, you took uh, away a lot from this video and you've understood how uh, type conversion works, at least the basics of that in Golang. And uh, if you're uh, uh, liking this video then do subscribe and thanks a lot for watching